Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublai Khan here. Welcome back to Arena Advice in Hearthstone. So, we were playing this earlier and having a good time. We we're playing the mage, and I wanted to uh, continue on with this. Now, the filming of this episode is very different than the filming of the first time we were doing the Arena Advice with the mage in this playthrough. So, you'll notice that it appears that my hair has grown into my face. Um, now, that makes sense, because if you understand with your hair growing on your head, it actually grows in, which is why you comb it, because it hurts, because you're pulling the hair back out. So people who have really long hair just brush their hair all the time, just all the time. Same thing with long beards, they just do this all the time. I, I wasn't doing it, you know, so I stopped. <laughs> there was a, some children's book that told me that. I forgot what it was called, but I remember thinking that was very funny, that they're like, th their reason for why hair hurts to get pulled out. Um, anywho, oh, so we got our character on. going up against another J, and, uh, Water Elemental's amazing of a card. Um, and so I kind of want to keep it here, uh, because it's just so good, so we're just going to keep it. Um, now this is something that in the normal play I wouldn't necessarily do, because I could expect that I would get the Water Elemental eventually. But because this is Hearthstone, weird stuff like this, you know, like... You kind of want to keep this awesome. We've totally curved out. It's amazing. Um, you kind of want to keep some uh, of these cards that are just really good because you want to have really high value per card. Um, man, look at this curve that we're getting. Nice. I mean, because it's, remember, it's all about that tempo, that continually ensuring you have something to play on each turn. And you want to try to you know, remove your opponent's stuff. And there's actually a couple... Um, couple episodes that I've done where I've, I didn't clear my opponent because I thought that it was better to hit face and a lot of times it's very good to hit face but the only time you really want to hit face is if the opponent's ability to clear is severely limited um, or it's like in constructed it may be better to clear but in here it's not always the best sort of situation um, I'm trying to think of a good example of that right now there's nothing in front of me this guy is basically an anti uh, creature he's a spell that just will sit there and be used this guy's gonna be great. Forgotten Torch. Ow. Jeez, you're gonna really wish you saved that for someone like this. Um, I think that I'm going to attack with this. Four damage, that sounds good to me. Anything that comes out can get hit by the water elemental, so that's gonna be very beneficial. You know, ensure that we're able to take the dude down pretty quickly. So I'm I'm cool with this. We we're absolutely on the up tempo swing. It seems like they must have really high cards. In their hand. Interesting. Um, I think I could just kill it with a hit ping. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Oh man. Oh man, indeed. All right. Um. Let's uh let's. So we can silence it, and then you know what? We're gonna kill it with a hit ping, and um. I think that will be my play. That will be my play. Now, you guys remember I talked about the Ancient Shade as, um, because it gives you that curse, but the thing is it's such a good card for so cheap, it's kind of, you know, it might be worth it. I have no idea if that's true. I actually just saw someone play with it the other day and I was thinking about it. How in Arena, you really don't get through your deck. So, why not, kind of thing. Alright, so he's gonna shoot, but we're gonna play this guy instead of this guy right now, because this guy's amazing. I mean, fantastic. Straight for the face, freeze, nice. I mean, they don't use weapons, but this is great. High damage, really hard to take off the field. Um, there's actually a legendary card um, where you get a four five. You pl it's same cost, but you get a four five. Oh, damn it. You get a four five or, and if they kill it, they get another four five. People talk about that card's a little bit better. The uh, one that they just sh I just played because it has the Extra, oh, nice. We're holding. Do oh man, that's an interesting question. Well, I'm gonna play this anyway. Um, oh, oh. But this could also be really good too as a removal. We're gonna grab this guy, and um, let's see. I I really want to try playing this dude. Really want to. The reason why is because I kind of want to save that for a bad dude. Um. Let's do it. And I know it's kind of an interesting statement of like, what do you mean? That's a bad dude. Like, 
But I mean like a bigger bad dude because it's a tempo wise. This is five damage. This is seven um, I mean it has low health. I mean one ping one attack. We can maybe break through uh, A fraud wow there it is it's dead like that Oof that may have been the right better the right better choice. Okay. Well, we're gonna go this freeze you And we go hit hit and then, um, hit, right there, bam, pushing, pushing forward. Now we just have an ancient curse sitting in our friggin' thing. God, that sucks. I mean, he would have instead just shot this guy. Whoo, damn, painful. Oof, also painful, but actually somewhat useful. And, um, oh, how do we, how do I do this? This only does two damage. Uh, I was gonna combine them and we we're gonna have it cause an explosion, which would have been pretty sweet. Um, how about this guy is basically a taunt, which is pretty cool. Um, let's do this, 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 followed by this and this. So we've we've weakened our opponents. We have a dude here that is kind of a taunt because they're gonna want to go after him first. We have a dude here who's gonna survive a lot, and then we have two great cards in reserve. Uh, hopefully this will end up working out pretty well. But the, my thought process was, for, is he gonna do an explosion, a sweep? No. He's gonna take get rid of everybody. And I guess he's gonna shoot him with a spell. Yes, he's gonna use a stampede and keep Kodo. That's a perfect example of a, a shifting spell. It's something that causes a, um, oh, baby. Your magic shall not save so, we're gonna silence this guy, but this gives us a 4 too, right? Um, well, can, uh, quick. Boop. There we go. That's, I mean, they definitely have the, the head, the upper hand right now because of, um, the shift in that they have tempo swing. Oof. Ah, great. <laughs> this is problematic. I hope I have a sweeper. Oof. Oof, indeed. Ooh, we can definitely discover a sweeper right here. Ooh, okay, so, well, that won't work. A vaporize could be kind of cool. I think it would be best to do a forgotten torch, though. Uh, Forgotten Torch giving us three damage would allow us to take out somebody like this person. Um, playing this person could be kind of cool too, because it'll give us that extra, yeah, we'll do that. Because now it's a taunt and now they're scared of it. So it'll give us an extra, you know, a little time to uh, complete our attacks. Let's see though. Scowy. <laughs> All right, so you go there, okay. You go there, okay. That's a ping kill, nice. So we can actually ping you and fireball you. Oof, this is scary. Nice. Let's do this. It's a roaring torch too, so we got that back in there. An extra powerful card. Oh man, I'm sitting on the edge of my seat. It's been a complete shift. They have three cards, totally have the upper hand right now. Can ping out this dude. Oh man, we're, we're gonna draw an ancient curse and it's gonna kill us. Oh man. He's going for the push. He silenced his dude. All right, we got this, followed by this. We're still kind of close though. I mean, if I was him, I was gonna conti I would continue to bash my face. But we're kind of in a dangerous position because, or for him still, because it's like, what happens if um, I play something that this can, oh, damn it. <laughs> well played. Oh, oh, uh, it happens, it happens. Um, hey, we got a completed a quest, nice. Um, continuing on, uh, looking at my, my deck here, it's, we got the Frost Novas, how we played last, I, um, I feel like it was a little bit of just, 
we had, we'd taken a sweet tempo swing in the beginning. That was working great. But then as we had the tempo swing working in our favor, all of a sudden, um, uh, <laughs> It didn't happen. I'm trying to think about what exactly play um, kind of made the change. Part of me feels that it was uh, the moment that he killed the 7-5 uh, guy. Alright. Get rid of that dude. This is a good start. This is even better. We will play, play, and then we have a, th a 3. We can use this to clear if things are getting kind of shifty. Um, Hopefully, I'm planning to win the next two, <laughs> obviously. Well met. Well met. Hello. Uh, we got Dancing Swords, which is pretty sweet. I always like this card, because the Death Rattle doesn't seem too terrible. Um, especially if you're a mill deck. Death Rattle doesn't seem, isn't terrible at all. Um, let's get Jeweled Scarab out. Ooh, Death Lord. Hell yeah. Death Lord's fantastic in the fact it does pull out a guy from here. But, I mean, if we need a taunt, he is the best taunt available for the price. So that's going to be pretty sick. Alright. That's just a general a quality card. Uh, do we want a spell slinger? I mean, it gives him a spell. Um, so I don't necessarily want him to have it. But, you know what? Let's, we'll do dancing swords. I'm going to go hit. Hit. We got Spell Slinger, so we can play that. Maybe we'll get a one-cost spell and do something cool. Hello, hello. Oof, that's annoying. Uh-oh. What? What's he gonna do? Interesting. He made the decision that he was like, it's not that powerful. And I would have to agree. <laughs> it wasn't that powerful. Um, ping. Hit. Hit. Get rid of that. Um, let's throw a let's throw a web lord in here. It kind of that affects us actually a lot. But I was planning to drop this guy at one point because that's going to be his main focus. Um, oh, hammer of wrath. Draw two cards now. Oof. It's a good hit. Okay, we could actually kill this guy with a ping and, a, and an attack. So that works out relatively well. Um, unless we use this. So let's, let's get this dude out. Attack past him. See what happens. See where this goes. Man, I really like this card because a 2-4 is great stats. Oh, shit. Well, we forced him to uh, use a lot of spells. He's going to do that. And then, I mean, a pretty obvious choice here. Uh, you're welcome. Let's, uh, do I want to play this guy? Yeah, let's play this guy. Got him. Oh, nice. Nice! That worked out perfectly for us. You're, you're, I really wish there was a you're welcome. God. Oh, shit. That's why you like silence guys. It's really useful for moments like that. I'm actually going to play this guy, though, instead. Um. Or do I want to play this guy? Uh... He's gonna hit me for six, or he's gonna kill that dude. So that's why it's kind of cool to play something like this. You know what? Let's do this. And, um. We'll just hang out. Maybe Spell Slinger will give us something pretty cool that'll allow us to destroy this dude. Uh oh. This is dangerous. He's got some pretty strong dudes out here. He went for the face. Ooh, interesting. Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> you just hear the joy in my voice. Hit this one, hit this one, hit this one, hit this one, hit this one. Damn it! Damn it. Alright, um... Jeez. I know, this guy's like, yeah, dude, I, I see what you missed. But hey, at least this guy's now a ping away. And maybe sp Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, shoot. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God. We got demolished. Oh, jeez. Interesting. We can actually pull, uh, push through really well with the clear. A clear. Um, 
Yeah, you know what? I totally want to just do boom and boom. There we go. Jeez. Oh, could you imagine this? The, he got wind fury. Whew. That would have been rough. Very rough. True silver. Well met. Summon recruits. All right, gotcha. For He's gonna hit this dude in the face. For duty. Oh man, I'm gonna hopefully spell slinger is gonna give us something that'll like sweep. I need more sweeps here. No. no. Oh, that'll work. Um, let's play shush. shush. And uh, you know, screw it. We'll play spell slinger too. Yes, that will be sweet. That was a mistake. Totally play it on this dude. Attack and taunt. That's what you get, buddy. Oh, why did he get flame strike? Oh! Reporting for duty. Jesus Christ. Sucks balls, man. Oof, that's a painful hit. Oh man, I, why did he get flame strike? I'm so jealous. Ugh, okay, um, you. Cost three? Okay, well. Um, let's silence you. Hold on, this, if I put this spell on him, that's going to make him an eight. So this will be 10 damage. 11, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. That was a mistake. 11. Oh, come on. Don't tell me he has, like, a something of something. Okay. Okay. Justice. Damn it! Ah! Oh! oh, we were gonna win one! <laughs> This is embarrassing, dudes. Oh, man, as we talked about doing advice and the like. Whew. I am embarrassing. So, this guy, we're gonna go taunt. That's the direction we're going with this. Boom. Boom. Jesus. Well, at least if this guy, you know, so he has a 2-7, that's pretty safe. It's gonna slow up our opponent. But damn, are we still at like a bad situation. Four cards in hand he has. Um, what are you doing? You just made him a... Oh man, it hurts my heart. My heart, it burns. Ah. <laughs> um, this is a lot less of an advice and more of just watch Kublai die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I had fun at least, but I'm very disappointed with how things have gone. Well, obviously, I should have killed that one, but you know, we've lost anyway. Haha, -ha, I've made him weaker, technically. <laughs> well played. Oh. Darn it. <laughs> I wanted to impress everybody with my sweet arena skills. Uh, anyway, we'll open up the key. Oh, one. Man. Dermot. Oh. What fun. There we go. We got a Scarlet Crusader and some dust. We'll take the moment to at least open up the... No, that's my collection. That's not my packs. We'll take the opportunity to at least open up the packs. See what comes out, so we can enjoy that after our terrible sadness. All right, here we go. Rare, Rare cool. Well, we got some dust. That's nice. <laughs> oh, all right, dudes. Thank you for coming by. I hope that um, one thing that is good to have about losing some of these games is that it does show that it's okay to lose. And man, the sun must have gone down or something, because the lighting has completely changed in this room. 
But anyway, so thank you so much for being here. It's a joy to have you. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And thank you so much for coming by. You're super awesome. So may the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back. And the sun shone warmly on your second sexy face. Dude, see you later. Bye.